Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn about Juniper new product MX304. I will try to break our conversation down in three different stages, starting from what, then why, and then how. So let's start with the very first stage of our conversation, which is what. What is MX304? MX304 is Juniper next-gen 2 IO router with 400 gig support. It is powered by Juniper 306 ASIC and our own heritage Juno's operating system. It embraces pay-as-you-grow option with the throughput range starting from 1.6 terabyte to 4.8 terabyte. And it also provides a wide range of interface config options, which are 1 gig, 10 gig, 25 gig, 40 gig, 50 gig, 100 gig, and 400 gig. Be noted that 1 gig, 10 gig, and 25 gig are supported via QSA adapter. Let's move to the second phase of our conversation, which is why. I would like to answer this question by mentioning few of the salient feature of MX304, starting from its size. MX304 is a very compact router with just 610 mm in depth. With such a small dimension, it does provide routing, cooling, and power redundancy. MX-304 is highly power efficient and approximately just consumes 0.29 watt per gig. Not only these, it does support MAXAC even on 400 gig interfaces and has a timing support with class C accuracy. Last but definitely not the least, as per your network requirement, you can either go with dual RE or single RE and 1.6 terabyte solution or dual RE or single RE and 3.2 terabyte solution or single RE and 4.8 terabyte solution. I know your question. How have we managed to achieve this, right? So let's move to the third stage of our conversation, which is how? And the answer is Trio 6. Yes, Juniper's Trio 6 technology. We are introducing Elmic for the very first time exclusively for MX304 and Trio 6 is the inbuilt ASIC on it. To know more about Trio 6, its internal architecture and its packet processing details, please refer my colleague Deepak's video. Coming back to Elmic. To understand all the available interface config options and to highly optimize Elmix throughput with the desired interface speed options on it, we should be having a brief understanding of its internal architecture. So before we jump into the interface config, let's have a look into it. One Elmix have one Trio 6 ASIC on it and these Trio 6 ASICs are internally divided into two slices. Now, each of these slices have two port groups and each of these port groups have eight lanes. Point to be noted that these lanes individually can operate at a discrete speed of either 10 gig, 25 gig or 56 gig. That means per port group, maximum throughput capacity we can have is 400 gig. If we do the math, then one Elmic is equal to one Trio 6 ASIC and one Trio 6 ASIC is equal to two slices and two slices is equal to four port groups. Now, if each of these port groups are working with its maximum throughput capacity, which is 400 gig, that means four into 400 gig is equal to 1.6 terabyte. That means, 1.6 terabyte is the maximum throughput capacity we can have per Elmic. Let's look into the external architecture of an Elmic. An Elmic has 16 WAN side interfaces, out of which interface 0, 6, 8, and 14 are QDD interfaces. If we combine the external and internal architecture, as you see in this diagram, interface 0, 1, 2, and 3 are served by slice 1, port group 0, interface 4, 5, 6, and 7 are served by slice 1, port group 1, and so on. Be noted that QDD interfaces 0, 6, 8, and 14 
are capable of consuming the maximum throughput of respective port group which is 400 gig let's look into the set of interfaces which are being served by same port group here i am taking an example of interface 0 1 2 and 3 these interfaces are being served by slice 1 port group 0 now if i configure interface 0 within speed of 400 gig then all other interfaces which are 1 2 and 3 would be automatically disabled as we are consuming the maximum throughput of port group 0 slice 1 let's get into the config path some of the config example where we can maximum utilize an elmic throughput would be by configuring all the interfaces with 100 gig or by configuring qdd interfaces with 400 gig to know more about all the supported combinations of interface speeds please refer to our port checker tool there are few things we need to keep in mind while working with the elmic an insertion of elmic does not require any maintenance window as this is not going to impact the already running services on existing elmic however to bring the newly inserted elmic in service we need to have a maintenance window as a reboot of fpc is needed to remove the elmic it is recommended to first offline the fpc and then wait for the led status to change to off then remove the elmic and after that bring the fpc back online to conclude mx304 is a compact power efficient router and will be a great fit in a various use cases such as vpc edge peering data center gateway distributed bng and so on